Okay, before I start to walk through the, the process, uh, the next section is a discussion of the parts list, the, of the essential parts to be able to automate the crane. One of the uh, elements is a uh, DC power motor controller, but it takes a DC input. And so what I did is I bought a, a step-down transformer power module that will accept 18 volts from the track and it outputs DC volt into that power motor controller. Here's the spindle that you'll hear me talk about. It's, uh, oh, I don't know, approximately 5 eighths or so. And this is a brass nut. And it spins on the screw. And I took a paper clip and bent it so that it could be inserted into the base of the uh, gantry crane. And then I took a screw and a bolt and attached the um, paper clip to the bolt and it ran off into the gantry and then as the motor turned the rod, the shaft, the lead screw, the bolt traveled along it. So those are kind of the guts of the uh, automation. And now the next section will be a walk through the parts list. Here's a parts list of those items that I use to automate um, the gantry. Uh, these are not the only ones. Um, search on Google or Amazon and you'll find a number of alternatives uh, for you. But these are the ones that I chose except for um, number two. So number one is the spindle and a little bolt there that is used, uh, that I use to connect the paper clip that runs into the base of the gantry. Uh, here's the motor. Um, it, uh, this one indicates it's a 1000 RPM. I'm using a 3000, but certainly the 1000 would be sufficient. The uh, pillow bearings and the uh, coupler, and then finally that little PCB that allows you to uh, change polarity and also adjust the voltage. And a few tips that I'd like to pass along. I for the uh, rails for the crane to operate on, I picked up a length of uh, two-rail track and cut it down the middle and mounted it on the layout. And what I did is I cut a piece of balsa wood that was the exact length uh, to separate the two rails. And I would use that to make sure that the rails were properly separate all the way through the run of the crane. Okay, well I've assembled the test bed um, with all of the parts that I described earlier. There's the uh, 12 volt uh, DC power supply. Uh, that's the circuit board that allows you to, to control uh, voltage going in as well as the polarity. The polarity is switched with this little switch over here. And the pot here controls the amount of voltage, which then drives the speed. I've hooked up the um, 10 RPM motor. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be fast enough, but I'm not sure. There are the, the pillow bearings uh, and the shaft. Um, I have this little jury rig thing here to make sure that the gauge is proper uh, throughout the length of the tracks. Because um, that's important if you're going to automate it. And uh, all I did was kind of, as you can see, clamp those two things together with a piece of uh, wood um, and then the uh, bolt down there will spin freely. So let me power it up and see how we go. If that's not good enough, I'm going to hook up this other motor, which was a 3,000 3, RPM. Uh, I can control the speed by controlling the voltage. I'll test it and, and draw my own conclusions at that point. I might get another motor smooth. Okay, well here goes. I'm going to uh, put some power to it. Uh, let me get over here. See if I can get it to go. Uh, 
All right, and now oh, uh, the switch allows you. It's a uh, double pull, double throws, and it has a pause in the center. It's actually th triple throw, I guess. Um, it's one direction and the other direction. So I'm not sure which direction it's going in right now. It's going very slowly. Okay, it's coming toward us. I'll send it in the other direction. It's probably hard to tell, but I mean it is moving. But that's the maximum amount of speed I can get out of that uh, motor. It's running at full 10 RPMs. And uh, that's the rate of speed of the crane. So I'm going to shut this down. And, uh, oh, well, let me show you. You can, I'll bring it towards us now. And here it comes towards us. So um, what I'm going to do now is uh, take a break. I'm going to hook up the 3,000 RPM motor. Okay, I've replaced the 10 RPM with this 3,000 RPM. I've got it sort of secured. We'll see how, how well that works. And... Uh, played with it a little bit before I turned the video on to get a good voltage and a halfway decent speed. And I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I hope it works. So here goes. Remember I used this switch over here that uh, changes the polarity and changes the direction of the crane. So here we go. Well, seems to be working very well. That motor seems to be okay. Now I have to decide whether I want to have it uh, above the layout table or underneath and just have the rod coming up. And I still have to deal with um, how I'm going to run the cable, but I think what I'm going to do is just simply run the cable down alongside the track there, cut a slot in the board, um, you know, about a 14-inch slot, that allow the cable to go through and then that way the cable can run along with the gantry and not tie it up with anything rather than just having it come out of it. And there's the uh, motor and uh, coupling assembly to the spindle and the pillow bearing and connection between the spindle and the base of the gantry. Okay, well here it is finished. Well, but for the scenic um, I replaced the spindle. That's a two-foot spindle. I've now secured the, the uh, pillow bearings, one here, one on the other end, and secured the track. Uh, cut a slot on the left-hand side of the gantry as it runs towards us to accommodate the cable. So here it goes. I've got it plugged in, turned on. You can hear the gantry house uh, making the noise. And as I start to uh, use the cab 2 to run the gantry, uh, we'll see how it operates. the little switch to change direction of the gantry. So I am pleased. There's one other little item I wanted to point out to you. It's having difficulty with the cable being dragged up uh, here and so I put a kind of a ramp cut off of um, foam board here it's at an angle that didn't I mean it helped but it didn't quite solve the problem so what I did is I put a little dowel right here 
and it lifts it up just enough so that the uh, resistance on the cable as the gantry moved is minimal and doesn't affect the movement of the gantry as you saw. But that took me a little while to figure that one out. Show you the final setup on the controls. Um, so I've got the controls to turn things on and off and mounted on the fascia board. So this is the, the gantry and now you can hear the uh, gantry uh, workhouse sounds starting. This controls the voltage on that uh, supplies the power to the motor that moves the crane and this is the switch that um, changes the direction of the crane. Okay, before I uh, actually go through the demo, there one thing I did want to explain. Alexa, turn on layout. Uh, the command gantry is a TMCC device. Uh, it is not a legacy device. And therefore, it receives its signals uh, through this uh, as a serial signal. And my system is now a legacy control system, LCS. Um, as you can see, I've got a uh, a ZWL, and I will uh, start to turn on the devices. And the tracks, yeah, I just get an engine rolling here. Um, so I've got a, a ZWL, and that's my command base. I have a TIU. And then connected, uh, part of the LCS system, I have the uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, next in line is the Serial 2. And now that's important because the signals come in the command base from my Cab 2. And then gets translated through the TIU, power through the TIU. And then through the serial cable, um, the serial signal that... If, that uh, tells the command gantry what to do is sent through this uh, SR2 or Serial 2 uh, LCS component uh, to the uh, command gantry. So uh, so that's uh, that's how that works. Well, now I'd like to show you the final product after all the automation is completed, the controls are installed, and I did some, uh, made a couple buildings to go along with the cranes. So you see the uh, welding shack back there, a little building that covers the motor at the end of the servicing dock or platform. And just for a little fun, I'd like to demonstrate the automation. So first I'll uh, pick up a barrel and drop it off, and then I'll power up the uh, crane, there we go, so I'll swing the crane over, over for the barrel, so we'll move the crane. Turn on the magnet. Lift the barrel. Swing it back over to the Drop that barrel, and then we'll swing around. And we'll move the crane a little bit more. There we go. And then we'll pick up the steel rolls.
Oh, uh -huh, we have a bonus. steel from the gondola. Thank you. 